Now what I've done is I've taken the equation and I've replaced the A with the value we found in the first part. A was 70. So I've updated the equation for theta and we've got to show then that k equals one fifth natural log of 2. And we're given this information that after 5 minutes the temperature was 55 degrees C. Now what I've done here is drawn you a sketch of the graph of theta against t. You don't have to draw this but it might help you just appreciate the problem. And what we've got then is after five minutes, if we just mark in the five there, we've got to find out what this temperature would be over here. So to do this, what I need to do is place these values into our equation. So we'll do that. So we therefore have 55 then equals 20 plus 70 multiplied by e to the minus k times t. Well I'm going to write that as 5k, ok, minus 5k. So I would want to take the 20 from both sides so therefore we've got 35 equals 70 e to the minus 5k. And next I'd want to divide both sides by 70 and so therefore we've got 35 divided by 70 which is a half. I'm not going to write 0.5, I'm just going to leave it as a half. And then that equals e to the minus 5k. And I think you're better off with a fraction as you'll see later on. Although you could work with 0.5 but working with fractions I do believe is a lot easier. Now to work towards getting k what I'm going to do is take natural logs of both sides. So if we do that we've got the natural log then of a half or 0.5 equals the natural log of e to the minus 5k e to the power minus 5k and with this I can use the power rule for logs. Remember if you've got a power here we can bring this out to the front. So we've got the natural log of a half equals minus 5k multiplied by the natural log of e. And you should know that the natural log of e is 1. So we end up with, we come down here, we end up with minus 5k then equaling the natural log of a half. So minus 5k equals the natural log of a half. Now you could have got this straight away. I know that some people when they take natural logs of both sides go for instance in this example natural log of a half equals just the minus 5k. But I've just decided to put a few more stages in here just to show you how we arrive at that answer. Okay, now that we've got that we can say divide both sides by minus 5 and if we do that we've got k equals minus one fifth of the natural log of a half. But this doesn't look like this. So how are we going to get that result? Well this is where writing this as one half as opposed to 0 0.5 may well be useful because when we divide with logs this is the same as the natural log of 1 minus the natural log of 2. Remember when you're dividing it's you know if you had the log of a over b it's the same as the log of a minus the log of b. That's the standard rule for logs. And we should know that the natural log of 1 or the log of 1 in any base is 0. So what we have is minus 1 fifth then multiplied by minus the natural log of 2. And can you see that this comes out to 1 fifth natural log of 2. So it equals 1 fifth natural log of 2. What we had to prove. Now some of you might not even go through this route. There's another route that you could 
uh, get to this result on. What you could do is say that, let's just come up here, we'll put or. If you had this result, let's just say k equals minus one fifth, and we could think of this as two to the power minus one, natural log of two to the power minus one. That's the same as a half. And then by the power rule for logs, you could bring the minus one to the front of the log. So we got minus one fifth multiplied by minus natural log of two using the power rule. And can you see that also obviously, same as what we had before down here, one fifth natural log of two. So you've got several ways of doing that. But again, it does echo that point, though, of writing a half as opposed to 0.5. Working with fractions, I feel, is a lot easier.